chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, today I thought I'd take you through five of my favourite fast licks. Um, fast rock licks, that is. And uh, hopefully, along the way, you will discover that uh, they may be not as intimidating or difficult as you might have first thought. You'll certainly get an understanding of what it is that makes each lick tick and hopefully even if some of what um, I'm going to go through in this video is a little bit uh, beyond you at the moment then you will get the, the general idea and be able to come up with your own variations on it and make it your own. So a little bit of housekeeping first uh, all of the licks in this video are based on notes of the G major scale uh, meaning that uh, they can be played over any chord sequence in the key of G major or any of its modes. For instance, we know that the chords, or hopefully you know that the chords in the key of G major are G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, and F sharp half diminished. Um, any combination of any or some of those or all of those chords uh, will work as a, a basis to play these licks over. Um, it doesn't have to be centered around a G chord. Uh, you could have something which is based on this chord sequence, for example. That, okay, that's an A minor 7, a D and a C, okay. So the, the tonality of that uh, backing there is very definitely A minor, but because all of those chords are from the key of uh, G major, you can use these licks over the top of them. Right, that said, let's move on to lick number one. Here it is. <laughs> Okay, and the thing that um, makes that lick work is, or the, the principle that it's based upon, is coming down a scale, in this case a G major scale, in uh, thirds, basically. So taking a look at a bit of a G major scale, there it is there, there's a fragment of it. Um, basically it goes G, if we descend it, it goes G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, and G again. And rather than just coming down the scale in that order, what I'm going to do is basically leapfrog over notes. So I'm going to go from the G, skip the F sharp and go to the E, then go to the F sharp, skip the E and go straight to the D. Then I'm going to go to the E, skip the D and go straight to the C, and so on. And you get this kind of deal. Like that and which then in the lick I continue down into a lower octave and um, do like a little legato-ish kind of thing to culminate on that G to A bend there which would make it an ideal um, lick to use over uh, perhaps an A minor tonality uh, sequence in the key of G, G major but all you've got to do if you know A isn't a particularly strong note to conclude it on is just change the final note to maybe a G or um, a B or whatever you need it to be. So uh, that's lick one. Let's have a look at lick two. <laughs> Okay, so what's going on here then? Well, this is one of my, uh, what I call a sweet picking hack. Uh, if there's one kind of shredding technique that I am a little bit, um, you know, uncertain, shall we say, of my own abilities with it, it would be sweet picking. I can do it, but it's never really formed a natural uh, part of the way that I play. Uh, but I like the sound, so uh, what I've done is I came up with this kind of idea here, where 
basically um, what I'm going to do is do this pair of hammer-ons just in, in thinking in terms of a um, an A minor pentatonic really here uh, so I'm going to do this C D E uh, set of hammer-ons and then uh, tap onto a note up here I forget which one it was I did in the lift but let's say it's the 17th fret so like that then come back down and then the first arpeggio in this lick is the, an A minor arpeggio and I just descend it using legato so that's a hammer on that's a hammer on that's a hammer on and that's a hammer on so you get like that and that sounds like I've, I've done a sweet picking arpeggio there but I haven't very sneaky uh, then I slide up to the C note here and that bit I do actually sweet pick and then just tap onto another appropriate note up here I'll probably I use the A last time at the 17th fret I'll use the C here and just round it off on uh, a bend again up to an A note there for a lot of these licks I've kind of assumed an A Dorian uh, kind of tonality if you like but you know once again just change the final lick uh, the final note of the lick to suit whatever chord it is you're playing over right that's lick number two let's move on to number three <laughs> Okay, this is another lick uh, based upon um, kind of uh, a scale sequence, much like the first one that we did. That can that kind of thing. Uh, what's happening here is that's different. Is first of all we're ascending rather than descending, and uh, what I'm basically going to do is take essentially what is a scale exercise of starting again on an A note, but we're still using the G major scale. Um, and basically I'm going to go up four notes from that note one two three four um, then go up four notes from the B note then four notes from the C note and four notes from the D then four notes from the uh, E four notes from the F sharp four notes from G and so on just kind of getting this kind of thing That sort of thing, uh, which is a great exercise to practice to a metronome, by the way. Just try playing it at uh, four notes per beat, semi quavers or sixteenth notes if you prefer, and uh, you know, kind of building up the speed. Good picking exercise. Um, ironically, in this lick, though, I don't use picking, it's more of a legato thing. Uh, and what I also do, apart from picking it, is I add a little bit of a twist to the timing. So instead of starting on the A note there, I'm going to start on the C and basically go like that and then the next group of four is then the next group of four and so on so you get this kind of thing I'll pick it this time and then I'll show you the, the, the legato kind of thing in a moment Once again, just bend a convenient D up to an E there, which is a pretty safe note to bend to, A minor, E minor, um, anything you want really. Um, so yeah, then just, I tend to play this as a legato kind of thing. A bit like that. Um, to be honest, I just prefer the sound of it played legato. I like the kind of uh, smoothness that you get with playing legato runs like that. Anyway, that is lick number three. Let's have a look at lick number four. Here it is.
Right, so what's going on with this one then is um, a very simple idea really of taking um, a, a group of notes in one octave and then repeating it in the next octave and then the, the next octave. As I said, we're using G major scale here. Um, so I'm taking these six notes from the, the scale of G major. I can go F sharp, G, A, B, C, and D, okay? And I simply ascend those notes. Again, I'm doing this legato, but you could equally as well just pick this. Then after I've ascended the, that uh, group of six notes, I come back down again and string that together. And then go back up again. So it's like you, you know, you march your troops to the top of the hill and marching back down again. Anyway. And that's the basic figure, okay? And anything that you can do with a scale on uh, on those two strings like that, you can then apply this principle to. Um, and the principle is that we now move it up an octave. So when I've finished here that F sharp note there is quite easily within reach and I can just do exactly the same pattern again and then the F sharp here and once again finish on a bend and then you string it all together and you get this speedy lick um, which uh, you know just ascends the fretboard and, and sounds really cool uh, so Let's move on to the final lick, uh, number five. Um, here it is. So lick number five, what makes this one tick? Well, essentially, it's the same principle as we saw in the previous one, where you take uh, a group of six notes and um, then move that pattern around a scale. So what I'm going to do here is, much like before, ascend, six notes, descend back down, and then go back up again. Only difference is I'm starting here this time on this C note. Uh, and I'm going to ascend those six notes then come back down them again then go back up them again now what I do different on this lick to the previous one is I now treat these three notes here as notes one two and three of the next block of six so I'll then go up six notes back down six notes back up six notes like that and then uh, what I could do at this point here is I could treat this group of six note, of uh, three notes in, as the first of this group of six, but I don't. Um, I end up when I get onto the top E string. That's when I start putting some tapping in, and again just. So I'm going up that in a legato fashion, and then tap the next note of the scale. Do a series of pull-offs that take me back down to the twelfth fret again couple of hammer-ons, different note on top this time and a different note next time and you can keep that cycling round as, as long as you want really um, and when you're done just nice big fat bend on the uh, top E string a good way to build a solo to a climax uh, this one with all the fast and furious stuff and a big long uh, sustained bend at the, you know on a high note at the end of the solo nice little trick to conclude a solo so there you go those are my five favorite fast licks uh, you will find a tab for all of them in the description box below um, so check it out and um, you know get that metronome ticking away and uh, try these for yourself uh, whilst I'm here I will of course just mention the prize draw that we have running at the moment uh, for this thing. This is a Line 6 M5 Stompbox modeler and it could be yours. 
Um, basically this has been donated to the channel along with a few other pedals that we're going to get round to looking at in uh, coming episodes. Um, this has been donated to the channel by a very very kind viewer, thank you, you know who you are. And um, yeah, it could be yours. All you got to do if you want to be in with a chance of winning this fine fine pedal, check out the, uh, the specs online. Uh, I did a review of it which I'll post in the, um, in the description below. Just make a donation to Zoe's Place Baby Hospice, uh, which is a charity in Middlesbrough which provides palliative, respite and end of life care to children under five with terminal illnesses. Make a donation of five pounds or more to those guys. Uh, once again, link is in the description below. And uh, send me confirmation of your donation via the email address you can see on screen or at the end of the video and then you're entered into the draw basically if you pledge five if you uh, donate five pounds you go in you get one entry into the draw ten pounds i enter you twice fifteen pounds three entries and so on and so on um so yeah i will be drawing the uh the pr the the winner from the uh prize draw on the first of january 2019 so we're just about where are we today uh, 3rd 4th of uh, december i think so you've still got about a month to get your uh, entries in let's try and raise as much money as we possibly can for uh, zoe's place it's a fantastically worthy cause and i'm incredibly proud to support them and before i go obviously i've got to mention the fact that if you want some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video uh, if you live on Teesside in the northeast of England, you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson or wherever you are in the world, you can have a lesson via Skype and whichever way you do it, your first lesson is of course free. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And with that, I'll bid you a good day, say thank you very much for watching, thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Bye for now folks.